What's up everybody? Today's review is going to be of the new base model 13 inch MacBook Pro. The new MacBook Pro line is definitely one of the more controversial Apple launches in recent memory. The launch was highly anticipated, but some of the hardware and pricing decisions Apple made left a lot of people unhappy and frustrated. The packaging is typically great Apple quality that we have all come to expect. Inside the box with the computer is one USB-C cable and a 61 watt USB-C power adapter. They no longer include an extension cable for the power adapter. You can also no longer wind the cord around the charger, which was really a useful feature that I always liked. The machine itself really feels solid and well built. The new aluminum body is light but also super solid. I really like the new keyboard feel and after getting used to it for a few hours, it's hard to go back. The trackpad is giant and as usual, it's pretty much the best in the business. Now let's get on to some of the controversy. The only ports are the two Thunderbolt 3.1 ports on the left side and a headphone jack on the right. I have to say that I really miss the MagSafe charging port. It was just a great design and charging through USB feels like a step back. The Retina display is the same resolution, but it's brighter and supports more colors. Looking at it, it really is easy to see the difference in the brightness. The speakers are also unbelievably improved. Although it's probably not a key feature to most people, the sound quality that they can get out of a small machine like this is pretty impressive. Under the hood performance changes are kind of hard to draw a conclusion on. Most changes seem to be made with a balance of performance and efficiency in mind. I did a Geekbench test against my mid-2014 MacBook Pro, which has 16 gigs of RAM and an i7. It did give that computer a run for its money, but it ultimately fell short. You could either make a case that this is a good performance or not so good performance, and I'm really not sure how I feel about it overall. One undeniably impressive fact of the new MacBook Pro is the SSD speeds. It was more than double the speed of my old 13-inch MacBook Pro on the Blackmagic speed test, and it maxed out the program with over 2,000 megabyte per second reads. Hard drive read and write speeds are one of the biggest variables in making a computer feel faster or slower to the average person. Not everybody that buys this computer is going to be doing rendering where you can really get a feel for the processor and the graphics memory. So I think just the perception of being a faster computer is going to be delivered by the speed of the new SSD. In some ways, it's the best Apple notebook I've ever used, but certain changes feel like a step back. When you combine the two to $300 price jump from the previous model, it's even harder to justify. It's an awesome balance between power, efficiency, and battery life, but it doesn't feel like a true workhorse built for pros and power users like some of the computers of the past. Hope you liked the video. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll be putting out videos every week. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.